Welcome to TFU Friday, and what a week of totally fucked up things it's been. So hard to choose, let's lead with the biggie, the swine flu, H1N1 flu, that they want to rename it because people have stopped buying pork products. Idiot, live pigs are the problem, not dead pigs. I'm pleased to see online a lot of people being dubious about, oh, is this just a media beat up? I think a couple of people have taken that too far. Don't pay attention to the media. Pay attention to the World Health Organization. And the only th other thing I want to say about swine flu, apart from what I said in my thoroughly, thoroughly informative video, which is probably linked right here, because I do that sort of thing, the only other thing I want to say is a lot of people go and say, oh, it's the same as bird flu. Hopefully, this is not going to be appreciably worse than normal flu, which does kill hundreds of thousands, up to half a million people around the world every year. Old sick people. Why the World Health Organization is worried about the swine flu is that if it starts to spread, it's the type of virus that will kill healthy people under 45. And even if it goes pandemic level, the fatality rate is probably going to be under 1%. It's nowhere near as deadly as avian flu is. But the point being, if a billion people get this, 1% uh, is a lot of people. I mean, fuck, point one of 1% is a million people. So that's why people are worried. And yeah, just one little thing, it's not like bird flu. Bird flu never reached the human to human transmission stage. If that happens, we're thoroughly fucked because that's a really deadly virus. And how about the level of fuck up required to fly a jetliner low over New York without warning people about it? Some genius in Obama's office said, ooh, big photo op, Air Force One fly over New York, that will look spectacular. And didn't fucking tell anyone from the city that had been attacked by jetliners crashing into buildings. The fuck are those people in Washington so cut off from ordinary people's experience they don't understand the effect their actions have? Wow, did I actually just say that? Are politicians cut off from the lives of ordinary people? I'm an idiot. And one more totally fucked up thing that happened this week, the ongoing rape of the internet. Now, fans of The Daily Show and The Colbert Report, who live outside of the US, found out this week they can no longer watch the clips on the Comedy Central site. This is a growing trend. For those who don't know, the Hulu site, which is rapidly getting popular in the US, can't be viewed outside the US. The BBC in the UK blocks a lot of content from outside the UK area. It's just the fucking opposite of how the internet is meant to work. Oh, and if you really want to get depressed, if you're in Europe, the European Union is voting on May 5th on legislation to let ISPs just totally fuck over end users. It's the complete abandonment of net neutrality. It's going to, if it goes through, it will let ISPs block whatever sites they like, slow down whatever sites they like, and charge whatever tiers and premiums they like. Goodbye, internet! And I'll close with a story that's closer to home for me about a Gold Coast rapper. And you probably have to be an Australian to understand how fucked up the phrase Gold Coast rapper sounds. This actually relates to a serious court case and I wouldn't make light of the fact it involves someone being killed. I would make light of the name the Gold Coast rapper uses though. He was actually referred to by one of his lawyers as a badass rapper. Yes, they call him badass in court. This is an Australian court. But his chosen rap name is Lace Italiano. Now, I'm used to rap names trying to sound tough, hard, edgy, street. When I hear Lace Italiano, I'm really thinking like an Italian furnishing store, not some street hard rapper with a lot of cred. Now, in the interest of research, I actually consulted with Michael Buckley of the What The Buck Show and asked, is this the gayest rap name ever? And I thought it was only right to ask him because he's renowned on YouTube as an expert on all things rap. Wait, the control room's telling me something. It's a... He's not an expert on rap. He knew because... Oh, you know, I've seen all these videos and I never realised. Apparently Michael's from the Gold Coast, so he knows anyway. And yes, it's unanimous, Lace Italiano is the gayest rap name ever. 
And don't let me see anyone dissing the idea of Aussie hip hop in comments. We actually have some of the best hip hop in the world at the moment. Go check out outfits like The Herd and particularly the Hilltop Hoods if you want some quality stuff. So, Aussie hip hop is ace. But Lace Italiano? That is totally fucked up.